So just for the purpose of this test, uh, we are looking at specific gravity, which is this one. I've waited 45 seconds, and as you can see, it's like 1.010. Which is around about right, to be fair. I'm going to go into it in more detail at a later date, but this is day one, what I was looking at. And my pH levels are slightly high. Uh, there's no blood in my urine. My ketones are okay. Glucose is fine. Uh, my urology is fine. Uh, nitrate and all of the others are pretty, pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. For this test today, I've been looking at specific gravity and all is good there. Morning YouTubers, followers, friends, and everyone else. 50 days, halfway. 50 days to Iron Man, 18 hours. Just off now to go and do a very easy and slow paced 50 minute ride. I've got to swim this evening, I'm not sure what time yet. If I can get into yoga then I'll be doing yoga as well but yet again uh, there is a waiting list and I managed to miss it. So I did my resting heart rate test this morning. I didn't. Um, put my heart rate monitor next to the bed so it was slightly increased just from walking down the stairs. The plan was to literally wake up over my eyes and test my heart rate from there. Uh, so it was elevated. I think in the late 70s at uh, late 70s, late 80s it was. Resting heart rate's normally around the 50 mark. Uh, so I think it was just the body kicking in really. Chemical reactions happening, so, you know, firing up. Exactly the same as when you fire up all things as, like a car for example, the revs are high to warm everything up, and then slowly it comes down to a suitable pace. So. Yeah, I'll take another check of that later on and see what the exact rate zone was. The chair's real squeaky at the moment. Uh, and then did my urinalysis test. Everything was pretty much where I expected it uh, to be fair. A little bit dehydrated. Uh, the urine was clear but coloured. And I'll give a full breakdown of what each of those taps mean within the next few days. So just give it more of a breakdown of, of what it is. Uh, one thing that is interesting is that if signs of protein are there in your urine, it does show some kind of stress within the body. Uh, which is again pretty natural from the research I've done. It's an element of nat you know, there's a natural sector there. So, from someone that's doing nothing to someone that's exercising 20 odd hours a week, has gone through a bit of a change in their diet, there is going to be some slight changes there, especially the stress factor on the body. So, uh, the important things were, you know, ketones is all good, the, uh, there was no blood in my urine, uh, hydration was kind of mid-level, yeah, there, were no, there was nothing to be really super concerned about, acidity levels were relatively, you know, quite high, but uh, that can be sorted. So overall, you know, pretty happy with how things have gone. And someone asked me why I'm doing it. It's just I want to understand myself a little bit better. It's very easy to just tune in and go internal and meditate, which I've been doing, and really focus on diet, nutrition, mindful wellness, and physical wellness, so fitness. But I find it 
interested to see what's happening inside. You know, I want to know what's going on in there, how my organs are dealing with it. I think they're dealing with it well, but you don't really know until you start testing. So, I'm going to be a uh, real time human guinea pig for the next two weeks. Just so I can understand myself a little bit better moving forward. I'm 34 years young. Wish I had the hindsight to do this. You know, a long, long time ago, so that I understand what my body needs in the, in the present moment, right now, through this exercise, in terms of hydration, in terms of you know, the micros and macros, how it's working internally, and how my body's adapting to it. So, that's that. My blood glucose meter that was ordered nearly two weeks ago now hasn't arrived. Um, I've been assured by the courier that's going to arrive tomorrow, delayed by the Easter break. So, we are, yeah arrives today then I'm going to do that later on see how my blood sugars are that's about it for today or for now anyway tested out the new camera yesterday uh, it wasn't it was uncomfortable when running so I'm going to go back to the GoPro for as a head cam for my running. I hadn't done an up, upgrade or update on the uh, camera, so it wasn't shooting in the definition that I wanted and some of the features weren't on there. And I was a little confused actually when I was going through the settings. I thought perhaps it was something I had done. Uh, but it wasn't, so. So yeah, wasn't yeah. It was my an error on my behalf. It wasn't a issue with the camera, but it's it's bigger, bigger and bulkier. And I think it would work better on a helmet cam as opposed to a head cam. I'm feeling good in myself at the moment. I'm feeling really positive. I think that extra rest day has had a lot greater effect than I initially thought. Very easy to become wrapped up in the moment, forget about rest, forget about, you know, just re-energizing with the family, you know. Uh, I said at the very beginning I didn't want to become disassociated from the family or in that small interview I did with Joseph, probably 15 days in, really focused on not allowing the training to impact family life because I think too many times it can do I think you can reach that time where things are prioritised in not the correct order so for me it was very much a conscious effort to say you know this is a time out I actually planned that day out weeks and weeks and weeks ago so it was something to look forward to, um, not just as a rest day, but as a dedicated day without any physical commitments or training commitments. And I didn't take a, uh, a, a pre-packed meal with me either. You know, I ate what was available to me there. So some people call them cheat days. Uh, for me, it was just about adding that element of normality back into my life. Or what was considered normal before, you know, it's not normal eating fast foods and, and poor, making poor food choices. Uh, yeah, so it was good. I felt really refreshed yesterday. I think you can tell from how excited I was about my body and how chuffed I was that it 
had that it built those energy reserves back up and I think that's really key certainly at the midway through to understand that to have that bit of internal confidence it gave me a, a bit of a confidence push which was really really good felt you know stoked about it so if you're training if you're new on this this training journey or you're like me training for something and you have been really committed really dedicated and given it your all up until that point then you know do schedule in some you time some family time if you don't have a family then schedule in some mates time you know some some time away to do something outside of this I think it really helps it's helped me certainly uh, a lot so this morning P test everything was good heart rate slightly elevated but I think that's just because I'd woken up uh, blood test which I planned to do to measure my uh, blood sugar levels the the testing kit has not arrived if that arrives later I'm going to do that today I have a uh, gentle ride now very very slow pace uh, heart rate zones uh, 1.5 to 2 so you know fast walk really um, and then home I've got a few bits and pieces to do today the kids are still off so they're at home, so I'm spending quite a bit of time with them, which is good and refreshing. Out for a walk with the dogs, and then this evening, as I said, I've got to swim. I haven't checked on the distance yet, but again, it's going to be nothing extravagant, probably a couple of thousand metres. So, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch up with you later on. But for now, peace out. Finished the ride, 50 minute ride, did about 11 miles, uh, cranked up the intensity really high, kept the RPMs very, very low, and the heart rate zone didn't go above 2.3, so it just gives you an indication of how slow the RPM was. I didn't actually have a look felt good you know uh, someone pulled up a spin bike next to me and we just had a chat the majority of the way through so it was nice could hold conversation no stress no tension hydrated with 22 ounces of electrolytes same company that I've been using for a while now the electrolytes and I've trialed a couple I found one that I feel more comfortable with that has the ability to deliver a lot quicker, so there's no need to you know, stock up. It's one of those factors to consider, isn't it? You know, it's fine finding something that works really well for you. However, if you can't get it because the demand is high or you can't get it because literally they don't stock as much or it's not as available, often it becomes a bit of an issue so as I said 50 days now stocked up on one brand which I'm going to or I have the intention to use throughout now my the remaining term which is good aware just a moment ago in the gym listening I like to listen to people's conversations the words they use and how they look to describe what's going on in the external world and I often encounter a lot of hatred a lot of resentment towards others I was just listening to a guy a moment ago who's going through obviously a tricky time It's only my perception to be a 
glimpses of anger towards someone else. And it's important to people express, you know, what's going on in their life. I found these this video blog actually has helped me express myself in a number of ways to analyse how I communicate with not only myself but with other people. Never done anything like this before, so it's a whole new realm to me. But one thing I have done in the past, a long, long time ago, is forgiven people, forgiven things that have happened, others. What I found is that you then begin to allow room, allow space for growth, development, for positive things to add into that room. If you were to look at it as a glass as your processing amount, so a full glass, you're, you're literally at your, the top of your processing speeds, your memory source, and all that glass was filled with dirty, murky, nasty water, but then there's no room for, you know, positive, clean water. No, no space for anything to come in. The, the glass is always full. What I've focused on doing over the last several years is emptying out the murky water, filling it with, let's say, half the amount of positivity that's needed, and then allowing space for more. Constantly analysing whether it's time to get rid of some of that past resentment, anger, frustration, those emotions that actually aren't tangible, that are just held up here, and allow room for growth, development, happiness, love, passion, excitement. Just thought I'd do this quick video then, just to mention that, because we all have the ability to be stressed, unhappy, let down by the external world, what's going on out there, we all have that ability it's possible, you know, but what is also possible is for us to send a bit of reflection internally, let go, forgive, honour others, stay humble, free up some of that, that space, empty some of that dirty, murky water. So that's going to be my train of thought for the day. That's going to be my self-reflection of the day. You can see where that takes me. So, for now, peace out. If you're training this morning, I hope it goes well. And I will catch up with you, hopefully after my swim. This camera that I'm using is waterproof, or has the ability to be waterproof, so I'm going to see if the pool is empty, and if the lifeguard doesn't mind, see if I can get some footage of me swimming, because that's something that we've uh, I've not been able to do up until now. Yeah, so that's it. Have a good day. Be safe. Peace out. Hi guys, Ben here, 100 N Man. So I have finished the swim for this evening. Just had to stop off at the supermarket to get some sweet potatoes and some chicken because I'd run out. So I did 800 meters, um, 1800 meters, divided into uh, three 500s, then a 300. Relatively easy pace, nice and comfortable, nothing too exhaustive. Uh, the pool was relatively busy so I didn't have the opportunity to take the new camera in and check up, out, check up on my style but I'm sure there's going to be an opportunity to do that relatively soon felt good, felt happy you know there's no glaring issues or errors that I can foresee there uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below to describe or just outline the urine tests I've been doing and what each of the levels mean. 
so that's in the description below but for now that's it for today thanks for tuning in have a good evening peace out so we've got the second sample of the day and everything looks pretty good as it should be so we've got the gravity specific here I'd say probably it's closest to the 1.010 uh, everything else is as it was this morning there is a full description and link in the uh, in the description below which goes through and breaks down what these colors and tests are for so check it out there but for now that's it